Using the right terminology in the right place is crucial during any translation. Let's assume that your company or the industry in which your company does business uses terminology that is specific to that industry. The usual translation proposals that you get will require you to post edit to the translations. By incorporating your own language data in SAP Translation Hub, you can eliminate the post editing steps by using your text as a translation provider. To get started, you'll need XLIF files that contain your preferred translations. First, you upload the XLIF files to SAP Translation Hub. Then, you prepare a company MLTR by adding the XLIF files. Then, you activate the company MLTR. And finally, you can use the contents of your company MLTR during this translation process for all scenarios that SAP Translation Hub supports. In this example, I'm going to translate a sample app from the retail industry. In English, we have the word product. Instead of the usual German translation of Produkt, we'd like to use Artikel. Okay, let's get started. First, I pull up the SAP Translation Hub tile and open the UI for uploading a file. Before I upload anything, let's take a quick look at the XLIF files. One for English to German and one for English to Spanish. I enter a description and then add the files. Now I can create a company MLTR. And add the two XLIF files from the previous step. Now I activate the company MLTR. The preparation's all done. To translate the app using the company MLTR, let's use the translation option in SAP Web IDE. Those languages look fine. So let's go for it. To see the files in SAP Web IDE, I pull the files from the Git repository. Let's check the properties files for German. The texts all look fine. Now let's preview the app. That all looks good. Now let's look at the translation project that was created in the background. I open the translation project and switch to the translations tab. I can filter translations by the translation provider so that we see which texts come from my company MLTR. And do the same for Spanish. 